Anyway, who are you? And why should I care? I'm Babel, and I'm the person that your nation that is employing you at this current time has sent to you and to this organization to work with to deal with the Raider issue. All right. Uh, do you have your paperwork in order? Please tell me you have your paperwork in order. Inform me of what paperwork I need. Oh, by the gods. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to be set up as an independent unit. Working as a foreign emissary. I'll see what I can do. I, I'm still not sure about this foreign stance that you're wanting to... It would be bad for diplomatic reasons only if we joined into this faction. The Dragonborn's nation might seem a little uh, disgusted that another nation is employing one of their nobles. I'll do some research into this. Try to get someone to find me a sheet. I don't know where in this mess uh, that I could have your validity proven to the state on paper. Mm. Yes. But I do suggest you run this by the suffates again. See if they are I'm going to go full. speak with them here in just a few. All right. Well. I wish you good luck then, because in the end, I get less work for this. So, I hope you succeed. I say goodbye, Mr. Paper Pusher. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back through the Green District, uh, pass oh, through the... Before we head out, we do need to stop over by the mail post. Drop off the letter. Letter in hand. Babel sees an older woman um, in a nice uh, dress who is... Flipping through some parchments that are sitting on the on the front desk, and she sees that you walk up and says, "Good day to you. What can I do for you?" Good day to you as well. I'm here to post this letter. All right. And what is the where is the recipient? Uh, Destination. Bam. Um, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> that needed to know that. Is this a a love letter to someone? Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you in search of somebody, perhaps? Yes. How'd you know? It certainly seems that way. Oh, I've been searching for a while. Um. If you're in search of this person, if you're not sure, maybe we can make copies and send it to the other uh, destinations we send to. You can do that? Yes, but unfortunately not for free. I'd say maybe six other cities could receive this, not counting ours. Do you have a name we could write on these for them to try to find them? Uh, yeah, uh, Master. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one time I called her my lady. <laughs> do you know what she looks like? Oh, yes I do. Alright, what does she look like? Oh, uh, well, she's a half-elf with a long uh, red hair like a sunset. And, and she wears mostly like purple robes. We'll see what we can do. Send these out. Um, we'll have instructions to post these on the bulletin board at each uh, destination's post service. Hopefully they will see that. And as you leave the post office, this, this runs parallel to the dockyards. Uh, you see a uh, commotion on the docks to your right. There is a crowd of people um, sitting around on the edge of one of the, the piers. Let's go take a peek. <laughs> that feeling is one of ours. Uh, there's not a lot of sound going on. It's pretty quiet. There's people just staring at something. And you see 
uh, once you push past the, the front inner line, a uh, set of people sitting on small crates overlooking a central crate that has a board with a board game on it. Sleeve. It's a waste of time. All right. As you start to turn, you hear the clack of a piece hitting a wooden board. And you hear the human man go, what? How could you make that move? That can't be legal. No. That is perfectly legal. Oh, Jesus fucking oh, Christ. Oh, Let him oh. say, yes, it's one of those. Continue. <laughs> you yes. <laughs> Step peeing off the dog. Stand, strategy. I set this move up seven times ago. You have fallen into my trap. I've spent time and time again at ports in your lands, and I have not ever seen somebody with the balls that you have apparently tried to. Ah! And then he put, just pulls his sword. He pulls his sword out. Oh, I'm gonna look at the guy. Be like. Sir, please calm down. I'm sure if you sit down, he'll show you what he did. And I use suggestion. Hell yeah. So, wisdom save, you said? Mm -hmm. He's gonna sit down. <laughs> did he fail? He failed. <laughs> you suggest to him, and he failed his, his save, to sit down and, and learn from this man. So he's just like... Well, I guess I'll sit down and learn this. And I sit back in the head, it's exhausted. <laughs> Since he, he sheathed his Good sword. Work, he sheathes his work. sword. And he sits back down Got like, will you please teach me this? Hi. <laughs> but first, little mouse man. Oh, in all of my travels, I have never seen a thing like you. Please tell me, what is your name? Bam! Splendid! My name is Sheen. I'm very pleased to meet you. <laughs> I would like to ask you several questions, but please, I must uh, finish my game real quick and I'll be right with you. It probably takes you a good 15 minutes. Yeah, um, I imagine you guys would want to stick around to see like this finish up the, the encounter. Yeah. The, the rest of the crowd's like, did they really just do that? <laughs> like, there's murmuring or whatever, and some of the crowd's just like, let's get out of here in case he gets mad again. <laughs> so. Can that be considered what he's like? Yeah, at those horns and uh, just a, is he older dude? Or he, he could tell you what he is. Me personally or in character? Well, I'm uh, about to ask her in a second uh, character, so... Okay. Okay, you guys... Okay, Bam Bam apparently passed out from his magic use and after the introduction while waiting. Because, honestly, you guys were watching a board game in silence as he was... Well, he was instructing the guy. You were doing your introductions with Babel. Um, so, feel free to go from there. <clears throat> Are you actually asleep or are you just like... No, yeah, I'm taking a little mouse now. Okay. He's on the top of a fedora. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, My lady. It's no trouble to you. Uh, whenever your friend awakes, could I speak with him? I, uh, I have a mission that I need to fulfill and... Tell me about the mission. Well, uh, from... You see... My people, we are not born, you see. We are... Oh, wait, wait, wait. My man, my one is... Any more about my people and all this race are you? I believe you call us Oni. Oni? We As are... in the Far Eastern demon. Yeah, I already know. Is that what you... Uh, uh, usually sure. evil spirit is... What they usually meant. He seems genuinely a little bit puzzled by that. Give me uh give me a history babble. That's literally all my character knows I know that. 
Because again, the, the kind of some of these statements are a little far reaching, so I want you to do a history. Oh, sorry. History. Uh, 13. It's literally like okay. super basic knowledge. Yeah, you've, stuff. you've heard stories from, from the sailors uh, as uh, before the Raider issue, because you've lived here all your life, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Uh, you've heard I stories of, of uh, beings that are similar to your look, but are more. Uh, Primal, I'd say, in in some fashions. And again, this is a lot of like, this is sailor scuttlebutt that you're hearing. Yeah, so it's a lot literally of it's, just it's, those crazy, ridiculous stories that they start spouting after about the sixth beer. Yeah, they're in, in, inaccurate at best with, <laughs> with a lot of their mythos. It start, started with the fish being about this big. Then by the time the story ended, the fish was about yay big. <laughs> yeah, so just again, that's, that's more what you're working on story-wise. Yeah, it's literally just... The bullshit that I was able to sit through. So go ahead. Yeah. Um, I do not know much about my kind per se, but I know there are others like that. I have a village I come from. Ah. Um, but I've only ever met them. I've never s- seen them in the room before. Um, but as I was saying, I we were we are created. We our our God creates us. You all are created. You so well. Are you not modified like uh, pre-birth from me? Like, I'm a tiefling. I'm going to, at that point, lift my hat up. I have a pair of horns that <laughs> go back and loop. He's fine. He's he's nested. I know. Yeah, yeah I literally just raise the hat up. Oh, so it's like... <laughs> yes, you are similar, but not no. the same. I... I do not know. I, <clears throat> when I was created, I was just as I am. No purpose. We just Did you have a childhood? Or were you brought into this world <laughs> in your current form and size? As I am. But oh. unlike the others who exist, we, to my knowledge, we just exist to serve our God. What has your uh, God ordered you to do here, though? I. I am the special one from my village. I was instructed to be his eyes and his ears and to see the world outside of his domain. He, you see, we, he has domain over a specific mountain range. And we are shepherds of that mountain range. We give him glory, we pray to him, we sustain his deity. But in order to expand on his horizons and to see what lies beyond his domain, he has sent me. To Which expand. direction did you come from? <laughs> you came in from a ship. Uh, you don't know really uh, what direction uh, because you were too busy looking at the stars. I do not know. I have just been traveling the world. I hopped on this ship. Here I am. Here you are. Pleased to meet you. That's all again. No need to bow. Only slaves bow to their masters here. And your world is very different than mine. That is a genuine show of respect. Everyone, everywhere I go, people bow. Until I come here, you say people do not bow. You say it is bad to bow? Unless you're bowing to someone that is your master. People here, most of which, do not have masters. Hmm. I have much to know. Yes. Uh, thank you for your instruction. Uh, also, a little tip. Make sure your coin purse has a metal chain. Especially in this city. I actually reach it. <laughs> and I'm like, so... I don't do that in public. Oh, you on. you pull out... I you, pull out loose change. You pull out not just loose change, but slabs of gold that are this size. <laughs> and they clack together. You have 15 of them. Jesus! <laughs> just, that's you all you hear Bat would do when he pulls that. Just they have little, little. little <laughs> you have, you have, uh, you have these the slabs of gold have uh, holes at the top so you can string them together, and they have little etchings in like uh, lines and one line down the center. But yeah, they're slabs of gold that are roughly equivalent to the gold for one gold in this area. Uh, 
And again, um, <laughs> I take a cautious look around. Like, oh, no one saw that. The the crowd had cleared out because they didn't want to get in trouble with the guy. Yeah, I, the, that was what I was about to ask because I was about to look around whenever he pulled that out and be like, "Don't bring that out." The oh, the like, only oh. person the only person around um, is, that guy is the guy <laughs> smiling and looking at the board, <laughs> which is yours, by the way. So I don't know what it is. If I, if I'm I, I have enough. You have you have a wrap, which you place it on. And you fold it over, tie it up, and you put it in the rest of your pack. The pieces go into little little cubby holes that go into it. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to work. Following that. All right, um, I got two questions for you. Yes. What is the name of your god? Uh, Raijin. Raijin. All right. You said your primary mission is to experience the love, correct? Hi. Very much so. Alright. And that's why I asked him. Your friend is so unique. Yeah, I just wish I would like to, at least for a, for a while, I want to be around it, just to see what this is about. Right? I see the sword on your side. Are you an experienced warrior? I believe so. Alright. I have some work for you. You might be able to see part of this world. Yeah. I would very much like that. No, I think so. I, you tag along. I'm in the middle of setting it up right now myself, so. I would very much like to see more. Experience more. I'm always up for a challenge. That's, well, you might want to collect your things. You can follow along. You see what I have? Like what belongings I have on my, on my person, maybe near the table. You have a satchel, which you added your game to again. And you have your sword and uh, you have your bow. Yes, as part of it. As I have been instructed. Travel right. Good thought process. All right. Uh, we're heading to our former queen's palace to speak to the caliphates at this correct time. Should be a nice little introduction for your god to see. Yes. I have not been to the palace yet. I would very much like to accompany you. Please lead the way. I shall follow. Very well. All right. You guys start to head down the road through the Merchant Quarter and the Green District. Let's jump to these guys. Before we, uh, one last thing. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out for the freaking little scabs that are running around trying to pick oh, up people because I guarantee one of them from an alleyway saw him pull out freaking chunks of gold bars about yay. I mean, Bay. that's that's a given for you. That is literally a freaking little. Scab magnets. Okay. You're, you're keeping extra uh, vigilant. vigilant um, as you pass through the Merchant Quarter and to the Green District. Let's jump to the other half of the party who had just gotten done trading and uh, whatnot. Did you uh, did you guys want to do anything uh, in terms of going back to uh, the shop, maybe setting up? And uh, uh, Kildry uh, had mentioned he'd probably want to go back and, and make uh, copies if he had the time. Um, Pass the day stop away, by make a uh, general play. store. I need to stop by a general store. You want to stop by a general store? Yeah, okay. just get one thing. All right. Look at a walk. What are you guys doing? What you doing? Hey, so I, I separated from him and Aros, and I went back to the uh, store to make copies of maps. <laughs> maps. Oh, did we actually? Like part ways, I thought we were all together still. You were all together at the at at the two different shops that Kildry wished to uh, yeah. visit, and then um, similar that. similar to where the the post was parallel to the uh, merchant docks, those shops were as well. Like the sailor's wife, yeah. that was especially by the the docks, and the seagulls that have sw that swept in and fell after his uh, bird. That was along again that same road. So at this point, once these guys leave the dock and the pier, they would have gone onto that road, and you probably would have seen them walking um, towards the Green District yet again. Uh, who is this? The Babel, uh, the new person, and Bam. You would have uh, Glenn and uh, Aros. I thought we were still. All you were all together at that point, is what I'm saying, and then. If you wanted to split <clears throat> off after the uh, the seagull event, that's up to you. 
because we didn't get to role play that out. So if you want to have oh, them I, floating I around. I definitely eyeball him. That okay. So it's probably like when you're just wanting to split off uh, that you notice Babel and Sheehan and Bam. If you're paying a lot of attention. If, <laughs> if you guys didn't want to do anything I else. Mean, I, I, see I, I figure for someone like him, an Oni would stand out. Like you know, that. It's Bam that I'm culturally it might be hard to see. He's kind of curled up in uh, a half brim. Right culturally, now. he'd be familiar with his kit. Yeah, and culturally, uh, uh, Oni's uh, Oni's uh, best that it was in the uh, night parade, so I'll be eyeballing him. Okay. Do you want to do a stealth, or you just want to watch him while you're standing? Just around? watch him, because nothing has been posted about a demon, so I can't do anything about it. Okay. Uh, Glenn, do you want to do anything? You guys are currently out in the road. So I pull that <laughs> No. <laughs> so I started, I started blasting. <laughs> so I pulled out my gun. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys essentially, f from my knowledge as DM, uh, went shopping last session. You had a major trade at a curio shop that only deals in trading items, not gold, not money. Yeah. Trading items of curiosity and trinkets and stuff like that. Yeah. Then you went to two uh, outfitters, one of armors and shields and one of uh, weaponry, called the Sailor's Wife. Um, the last thing currently. Hmm? I don't know if I'm the Sailor's Wife. The Sailor's Wife was the very last one he was ordering knives, uh, throwing knives from. Uh, Kildry specifically wanted to go, but, so I guess you guys tagged along, Aros yeah, yeah, and you. So along. you, Aros, and Kildry are currently outside of several other shops along this main okay. roadway. Okay. Kildry notices, Kildry notices Sheehan. So if you guys want to do anything else, is he informing that he's there. Or is he like, be like, he's keeping like, his well, eye on him currently. No, meant to me. Does, do I? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll give him the stank eyes. Do you say anything? No. Do no, I? There's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, give me a. Give me a perception. Why are you perceptioning? Because he's trying to recognize. This is three. You know, I think that's actually like a nine. <laughs> I got a seventeen. Not true, Billy. <laughs> I got a seventeen. You got a seventeen for perception. Oh, yeah. Nine. You plus see seventeen plus. Oh, uh, that's a six. But isn't that investigation? <sighs> or is that perception? You're perception. you're really just looking at him right now. Oh, okay. That's. Um, you can't investigate until you're up close to him. Oh, let's say, uh, uh, perception. I just say, do I recognize him? I've always seen him You uh, haven't seen day. anyone like him. I got him 21. 21? I got 21. Uh, you're wanting to see if you recognize him? Or just, or what? Because he wanted to see if he recognized him. Is that what you're wanting as well? Well, he, he asked uh, who's that, and then, uh, then I looked at him. Like just kind of like who and what he is is what we were. Oh yeah. Doing. So I, I but I know. <laughs> you know what he is. In terms of look, at least. I I just look at you and I say, I want to. Uh, in, intelligence check, I guess. Glenn, see if oh, you know yeah. what an Oni is. <laughs> ah, now I don't understand. Okay. I, can't see that. <laughs> I understand everything now. Five. Mm -hmm. That's a five. And then whatever your intelligence is. You have a pretty high intelligence. Yeah. But your modifier, right? Is this because. Oh, just the intelligence modifier? Yeah. Okay, that's just. Set nine. Nine? Yeah. They just saw something. You haven't heard of Oni? You can ask me what it is. Uh, you With your bounty hunting work, you haven't heard of Oni before, but you've heard of, like, um, uh, Things that have spiked yeah. horns out of their head and stuff like that, which you've already seen Babel. Yeah. You're you're aware that Babel exists, so there's po it's possible that other races like him could be out there. But they're not the same. Though. Or tiefling types. So a couple of horn eagles. He knows what it what it is. So what are you, what are you guys wanting to do? Well, he asked me about... Uh, to explain I'll, it, yeah, yeah. 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 You, so, to explain what an Oni is. So, so do I need to give you history? If you want to. 
Uh, it's up to you. No, I thought that was what it is. I, I'll you tell him, but uh, won't you explain? I mean, you you should know it. more than him, like anyone really in this area. Uh huh. I mean, I don't need you rolling history. You yeah, just you tell. Just, you just tell me. Tell me. Yeah, you don't what your over. idea of an oni is as a character from the lands uh, that you're from. Yeah, if you just tell me what it is, that's all it is. If you want to say it's it. It's like, but I uh, can't say it is. I'm broke of English, so I have to. Yeah, you press the dissertation. Yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna press the dissertation. I'll just uh, give them a. I'll just give them my perception of only they are a subclass of demons. Okay. That, uh, and then I'll tell them uh, they they were present in killing my whole family. You could have just gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thumbs so, down. Good question. Hey, do we tell them? Is only a subsection of demon, just like how tieflings technically are as well. Well, I think tieflings, uh, tieflings are uh, well, offsprings. Uh, uh, tieflings <laughs> are off, uh, offsprings, but it's just like uh, with other classes. But this is a this is a sub this is a sub of a demon. So I mean, they're they're created. He just said that they are created. Yes. But you're you were uh, you was born so. again. This is uh, this is player talk, not character talk. Yes, they're not together. Yeah. But he, ex what you had said a minute ago, um, is your general knowledge of what it only is. Mm -hmm. Just a, especially just a, especially given your very, circumstances. Uh, I, I, uh, now that uh, now that I know what he is, I'll probably uh, do a little research on it later. But uh, but it'd probably be like the Witcher telling uh, telling the telling the uh, bard what. What it is. Mm. So, it is a very dumb do you want to just keep watching them at a distance? Yeah. I said, do you want to follow them? Because this is your other half of your party right now. And do, or do we well, they don't, look at, they don't look in danger. Aros is this? like, what are you looking at? Oh, is that... Babel! He shouts the Babel. I, I, give, you, I, give, I, give, I give... I give... I give... I give Aros the dirtiest. I'm going to kill you just any time... Look. I'm gonna roll a d20 to see if I even heard him. Yeah, give me perception. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, Seriously, so it's gonna be like a six or something. I was gonna say, can I grab our OS and like try to like. Muffle him? Not muffle him. Not necessarily muffle him, but muffle him and grab him and kind of like move behind some stuff. Get him behind him. So then like you pull, pull them Three. off to the side. So when, a five. So, <laughs> so Babel looks. <laughs> just as, as, as he disappears. Babel looks as the three of them duck behind a building, and the, he just sees nobody. Yeah, it's just right. like <laughs> I'm here. A bunch of weirdos in this town. Probably somebody that he I owe money to. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of Must be my right man. now. Must be my man. I'm definitely having a hard time paying them. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Mm, well, I want well, to. I'll get to you here. So. I get. Do I just get moving before Bill if he wants to head back to the shop or follow. Do what? Head Sorry? back to Battle shop or follow them and... Uh, them. In order to get back to his shop, you'll have to follow them for a little bit, and then you'll be able to hit it, because it's at the border of the Merchant District, which almost I goes cast, I cast Disguise Self. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, what are you he's just... playing a proper demon hunter. What the hell's up with you, Mr. Demon Hunter? You seen a <laughs> subclass of demon, demon hunter? hunter. He's, I thought uh, you he's, were. A, he's a bounty hunter. I'm the bounty demon hunter. hunter. Bounty. I'm the demon. Not there. Well, there. Two demon no, there. Bounty. Demon bounty hunter. Aros is just a dude. Technically, Aros is just. I remember Aros is like one of you two were like one Aros, of you like a partial demon. I, I, Aros. Like, Aros, Aros meanwhile. Power. Aros meanwhile shoved up against the wall and he's like, "What the hell, Glenn?" And then. It and like Glenn's holding him up against I, the wall. Uh, First name base. I, 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 I said, I looked at I look at Aros and I say, silence, follow, leave, for home, later. All right. At least, I wish you guys would just tell me what's going on. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, that aside, uh, yeah, I can do that because I might have heard somebody say "shut up, Meg" like four hundred. You guys, what is your intention to do when you go back? Just, oh, just, well, now we're following. 
Are you actually going to be following them? Oh, yeah. We're going to go find them. Yeah, right but... Okay. They are uh, co uh, currently on the way into the inner city 31. through the Green District. Let's go to Janster. Janster woke up the night prior the inside morning. somebody's uh, house. And then took off and ran into the streets until I couldn't run anymore. Just like panic on his face, worry in his eyes, just out of his mind. Yes. Uh, <laughs> while you were laying out somewhere, probably hiding in a in a back alley. No, I said I would. I was running well, we until I passed out in like the street. Like, like to, he's just trying to get as far away from there as possible. Okay, so you're literally in the street somewhere. Which you woke up. You woke up. I'll say, you wouldn't know this, but you woke up some distance beyond the arena in one of these uh, residential one, uh, I mean, houses here. Yeah. And you probably ran into the inner city and maybe, got to maybe, maybe the like industrial maybe. district before you uh, hobbled over with your high uh, <clears throat> rate of heart well, see, uh, palpitations, whatever you call it. See, I would imagine he would be like looking for some kind of like temple or some holy ground to get to because he yeah. knows that something's after him. So maybe... Oh, may you probably follow one of the main roads then. So yeah, and, head towards the temple district. Did, yeah, you, you'd, you'd head to the d temple district. And like basically pass out at the door of a temple. You, you, you pass out at the, the front end of a temple that has a, a large... Uh, a large statue of a woman with her arms raised and a crescent moon over her, over her uh, hands. And you again wake up later during uh, the next day in a bed and you hear the uh, voice of Shamash. Smash? And Shamash hears you call out his name. What are you doing here? Shamash is currently laying in bed with the Elder Dragonborn uh, still standing beside him with his hand on his shoulder as talking to the guy and you hear Janster. So call out would that him. would that would have that would have been some sort of long rest? So I would, it, it would have essentially been a long rest. Okay, cool. So I get my spells back. You get your health back as well. Yeah. If you lost any. Oh, I, 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 well, I, it was all temporary health for me. Without him from his sleep. Is that so What's the question? Yeah, you get a long rest. Yeah. So I'm back to full health as well. Is yes. Tail still burn your spells, your spells yeah, are back. Exactly. Your health's back. Is his tail still burn? When he wakes up. Uh, Even if I'm not back at full health. You are currently under cover, not in your armor, in a uh, like a gown. I'm gonna. I have a question for you. Does your tail grow back if it gets cut off? No. We no. Don't. We already no. just no. said no. it. No. Okay, just wanted to know real quick. I'm going to... Because it would look really... I use it like a weapon. Not... Okay. To, I, I just at think least, it would look really good on my wall. <laughs> not a dragonborn my and not a chameleon folk, at nice least. Too. So, uh, do you... Are you following up with the player question of looking at your tail? Um, or Because, yes. again, I'm saying you're, you're in bed, you're covered... I've, I've noticed that he's called out my name. The first thing I want him to notice that I do is that I'm pulling my tail out and checking it. Or something <laughs> happened. Something happened to your tail, Smash? Yeah, you're laying in a bed beside him. Your your outfit and kit are not on either. You're wearing a gown. Your stuff appears to be beside your bed. Uh, same as you, Smash. Uh, Smash, you see a burn on your tail. Ooh. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was. So does that mean that uh, Glenn's face inexplicably hurts for some reason? Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. Like, like just uncontrollably, like just crawling down the ground. Oh my! It's like, hey, I got a toothache. It does not. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. But uh, I'm gonna get up. I assume there's like a curtain, you, like a privacy curtain. You. you well, it's kind of yeah, like that, yeah. It's like a, it's like an infirmary, almost. Yeah, I'm going to um, get up and start putting my clothes and kit back on. You see the silhouette of a uh, halfling on the opposite side of your left. Um, and the Elder Dragonborn uh, says, Shamash, are you all right? In Drac uh, Draconic. And 
I'm just going to say, just out of character, I also speak Draconic, so I know exactly what they're You're saying. You hear it, yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So, continuing um, in Draconic, I'm going to reply to the Elder by saying, yes, I'm fine, but also continuing in and Draconic turn towards him, noticing that he is listening to the conversation. He stops, you see a silhouette stopping and like tilt his head towards your direction for sure, because there is a sheet in the in between but you guys. He, he did say my name, so I, I do. He said in, in, in common, most likely. Yeah. And then he heard Draconic being spoken, and then he tilted his head in the silhouette. My like he's kind of perk again. up like, oh. Okay, well then in common I tell him to go. You know, move the blinds out of the way. If you're not listening, you might as well come in. Well, I'm getting dressed currently, but yeah, when I get dressed, I'll... He pulls his extra big sock over his foot. <laughs> Very I mean, seductively in the silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> I drop my sword between my legs a little bit, though. Oh, <laughs> Pull on Austin no, no, Powers. No, no, no. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow, that's a big Johnson. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I finished putting my stuff on. I pulled the curtain back. Right. And I finished getting dressed and pulled the curtain back and just kind of. You see a very uh, deep pock, like eye pock, tired looking halfling. Uh, looking looking even more pale than he normally does. Mm. Um, I would like to inform him that I have no idea how long I've been here, but some crazy stuff happened since the last time I've actually seen the party. Yeah, before I apparently blinked out of existence, existence you uh, you just kind of collapsed. And I don't know how long I've been here either. I seem to have been in another plane. Master Shamash, what is he saying? He's, he's different. He um, says in Necronic, you hear it as well. Yeah. I, uh, I, I turn to the, the older, um, Dragonborn and be like, and Draconic, my apologies. My name is Janster. Um, I was in the arena with your master here. Uh, we were, I guess, captured? And I defer back to him. Uh, he knows our tongue. That's the first I've seen. Surprised you just as much as it did me. Um, uh, so what's this about an arena? He uh, says, just because he acknowledges that he speaks it. Have you seen me since then? Were, weren't you there when my brother fell? I haven't seen you in years. You disappeared that day. Ooh. Okay. I turned towards Janster and I said, well, you, you were saying something about traveling different planes. I think I may have done something a little similar. Uh, well, for me, it's complicated. I, uh, I come from a place that is not very hospitable to living breathing beings. It's basically a land of the dead. Well, I, I watched dozens of people die in this other realm, and last thing I physically remember is that I was hurt in this world, but the last thing that it sounds like I did was fight in this arena. I do remember doing that, but I've done other things since then. Do you remember fighting the mercenary captain? Yes. Do you remember the big fight after? No. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> you don't remember it? No. Because Because I went unconscious after I fought that one dude. No. No, no you were conscious through the whole thing. You don't remember the fight you took part in. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, it's, just, it's basically, I, I'm explaining it to up. you, it's basically as if you kind of glazed over and was an autopilot. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah I oh yeah, because he, uh, because he used the draconic power. Uh, he used his psychic power. Yeah, basically, 
Yeah. I don't know where that power came from, but it seemed to have affected you. Your what's the word I'm looking for? Um, seemed to affect you, basically. There's definitely a lot going on in my brain right about now. I assume so. Yeah. Speaking of brains, um, I don't know about that Merc Captain. He seemed pretty fucked up. <laughs> is, uh, is the uh, Captain there? They don't see anyone but themselves because it's an infirmary with uh, uh, sheets that divide uh, within the temple, presumably. These I'm guys not... were the, the bad guys, right? Well, they were training us. Training us? Yes. Oh, we had been captured. No. Um, I basically go retell the event. Retell the story of you know they're contracting us to um, take out some kind. That of... much you remember. You remember yeah. talking to the leadership. Yeah. It's but... just you don't really remember the discussion after because that was when you went into the mode you went into. Um, but yeah, I, I basically fill him in that they're not the enemy, we're free to do whatever we want, but the Suffate wants us to help them take care of this raider problem, and he's given us free reign of the city. So I stand up and start putting my armor on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> well, I'm still dressed. I, I you have a nightgown, which is not what you wear under your armor, so you would be undressing. Okay, well, I pull the I, 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 push, I push him out. Just like, <laughs> the, el the elder dragonborn helps you as if it's natural for him to do so, and you, 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 you don don't play like on. alter him out of the. Well, uh, while the, he's the no, no. while he's the elder dragonborn, or or just him. Well, no, like both of them. Both of them. But okay, the you won't. The like... elder takes him out of the out of the area so I can dress. Well, him. I was gonna go out and try to find like a priestess or a priest and kind of okay ask what happened because I don't remember much. Uh, okay, give me an investigate. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> All right, you walk up to another curtain, uh, which is completely surrounding a bed. And you see silhouette standing up in uh, what presumes to be someone tending to a bed, and you flick the the uh, curtain open, and all you see is a bare ass of an old man <laughs> who's, no! who's like trying to move his bedpan. He's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine it goes on like that until he gets. <laughs> the image is kind of no, 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 no! You just hear me from around the corridor as a reaction go, ha. That's why you don't peek, you perv. <laughs> but <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you eventually, with a, with enough like reaching into people's freaking curtains, uh, you, you cause enough sounds to cause one of the uh, the priestesses to to walk up to me. He's like, "What are you doing?" Oh, thank God! I I don't know anymore. I just I don't even know how I got here. Uh, the last thing I remember was running. You you were found at the steps of the temple. Yeah, that tracks. Okay. Um, where exactly are we in the city? Uh, you are in the temple district. This is within the city bounds itself. What temp? What what temple am I in? You're in the temple of the Blessed Lady Tanit. Which. I walk by and go, peace, walk out the front doors. Okay. Yeah, you, I'll geared up. I've you, you, armor you on. reasonably find a quick path to the outer streets through a side this door. Is not the temple I, this is not a temple I need to be in. Well, but uh, I, I basically ask her, I'm like, okay, so I was one of the, I guess, survivors in the Coliseum, and I need. I, I, I'm looking for something, and it is very important that I find this. I need to, I guess, talk to an official. Uh, what was the name of the old guy that let us out? Uh, uh, and he just draws a blank because I don't really, I don't remember the dude's name. Uh, the old, old dude guy. that I. That you we spoke fought. to an official. The the old guy I fought in the arena. I'm, I'm talking to you in character. That I'm talking to you back in the in character. Like I'm afraid was I wasn't. Old, I'm afraid I didn't see the battle. He he's one of the suffates, I think. Um, uh, 
an old man. The, the Suffates aren't old. Is Sandros or? Is Sandros. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Where where would he be? He is, he's a magister that takes, takes bed at the Queen's Palace should you need him. Yeah, so I'll, I'll start heading towards the, the Queen's Palace. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just, I've had a rough life. <laughs> Well, uh, ten its blessings on you then. I, I wish you the best. I might be back. <laughs> I hope under better circumstances. We'll see. And I walk out and I guess head towards the Queen's Palace. Uh, the older I'm, I'm just kind of like leaned up against the wall waiting for you. The elder out. Dragonborn is, is standing beside you just like... Like, making sure you're okay just looking at you. And then I realize I don't know where the fuck I am and I walk back in and it's like, Do y'all have a map? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure if you follow the main road, you'll hit the plaza. Okay. And I'm sure you can find someone with, with directions there. Okay, thank you. Uh, what was your god name again? This is this is the temple of the Lady Tenet. Tenet, bless you. And he walks out. And he's outside the door. So how are you feeling there, Smash? Like a boulder came down 15 feet and slapped me in the face. Yeah, about to say. Okay, yeah. That, sound, that tracks. Uh, I, can um, use, I can use a drink before we meet up with the rest of them. Yeah, fun is first. That's why I want to get a drink first. It'll make it more entertaining. <laughs> Honestly, I'm with him. I've had such a shitty time. I, I, yeah. Okay. So I guess we go for look for a tavern. You guys, uh, from you were told you can get directions to a place from the plaza, so you can follow the main roadway. You are currently in uh, District Eight. You mm -hmm. could go down to uh, what is it, District Ten, yeah. on the map that you see here. My question is, what are the people like in District Nine? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hostile. Uh, they're, all, they're, they're all uh, cockroach people. Uh, okay. you, you, from District 8 to 10, uh, you have a main road really that leads right cats. to it. Mm -hmm. And it leads it to a large plaza. Um, and I just want to ask directions to like the the highest class tavern in town. It's extremely busy here. It's, it's like a huge public forum um, yeah you you definitely find somebody to, to run into and grab and just like what are you grabbing me for and then it's like i'm sorry to bother you i'm just looking for a place to get a very very strong drink and behind you is a dragon board. drunkard over here and then he points in a direction of a uh looks like an inn several uh story mm. uh, pretty wide building at the edge of one of the plaza uh sections gotcha i'd like to do a perception check is it is it, does it seem like there's a lot of people here drinking, or does it seem like it's kind of a hole in the wall? Well, you're not there yet. Well, I was, I was yeah. going with him. Yeah, we were traveling right. together. Okay, you, you move up to this, this multi-story, pretty wide building, yeah, and on the front cool. sign you see Barca's wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I go oh, in. Yeah. You got a wire now? <laughs> Dude, the names of these places are me. Uh, what, so was you the, go in, what was the name of the potion shop again? Oh. Uh, the, the foaming jug. <laughs> but yeah, I go in, go straight to the bar, set down ten gold and be like, give me the strongest drink you have. I will pay more if I have to. How, are you actually throwing money? Yeah. Like, how much how, do you throw into the counter? How much, however much... Or are you just I, asking? Yeah, the, just give me the top shelf shit. And, and I, I, I would do the same, except I don't have a pouch of gold, but I have a written currency, if you yeah. like my debit card. How much do you have, by the way? <laughs> he does have. Put this on my father's on. tab. Hey, uh, I'll have... just buy the bottle. It says in my treasure... Why don't you just buy the bar? I have 185. Well, Jesus. Jesus. I'll get back to you on that. It takes time oh, on the camera. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I changed my order. Like, give me and you, you the whole you bottle. Some of my blank checks. need for the alcohol. Okay, um, you want you want the strongest. You do you both want the strongest? I mean, I'm buying the bottle if you want to split it. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> I'll, I'll pitch in for it. We'll split it half. He's like, all right. I uh, don't think you can handle it, but 
Try me, bitch. Oh, That'll be, uh... Body yeah, size of a halfling. <laughs> That'll be three gold. Each. Each? Okay, yes. shit. Three gold each. So, he hands me his three... I'll just... Yeah. Just make note, three gold if you want to take right. part. Three gold for the whole bottle. Alright. Alright. You, uh... You watch this, uh... This tall, uh, bearded man that's wearing a, a, a skull cap, uh, kind of sigh, shake his head, and he moves over uh, to pull a giant amphora off of the side of a shelf. And he has with a huff a, a pretty, pretty loud grunt as he lifts this thing on top of the uh, the countertop. It's a is large it a amphora. Is it a keg? It's an amphora. It's a vase. It's a large vase full of full of this alcohol. And he says, enjoy. And it's this this thing's huge. It's like this tall. I'm gonna how much about how much does it weigh? Does anyone in the tavern know? I'm sure they do. I have a feeling a lot of people are staring. Wait, 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 wait. wait. How much does this weigh, and can we take it out of the out of the bar? I mean, I bought it. Do you want to try to lift it? I want to know how much it weighs. Find our friends. We're about to have a No, no, no. I want to know how much it weighs because I wanted the mage hand it around. It's more than ten pounds. It's she, more than ten pounds. Man struggled to lift the weight. It's 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 half the weight of a barrel, but it's still pretty heavy. I'd like to. Maybe a, maybe two thirds the weight of a barrel. Like to do a strength check, and just pick it up and take a big old chug from it. Okay, uh, you Please uncork the top. Don't break. Which has a large, uh, large uh, wooden uh, cork on the top. Give me a strength check. Smash! I swear to Christ. He's about to get smashed. <laughs> I s I swear to the shadow himself. There you go. Too funny. I swear to me. I swear to me. I got a 19. Oh, oh right. Christ. Come on, me feeling hey, he puts test. it on one finger and he serves. <laughs> he does he does the he does the moonshine thing, <laughs> but it's his arm. <laughs> the moonshine thumb twirl, but it's his arm. So he's just like I just I just caress the bottom of it with my tail and like lift it up. Carry it with your tail. It, he doesn't have a prehensile tail. He has a tail that he can move with his muscles, but he can't physically oh, yeah. do stuff. Uh, so you get a you get a big slosh of this drink and with your dragonborn with It'll your get, dragonborn mouth being as, as open as it can be get than you, drink. you get some of it splashed onto your armor and your cloak. And what does it smell like? Like does it smell like It smells sour. Hell yeah. <laughs> It smells sour, and again, you get it on you, but... Okay, like, logistical egg. question. I'm three foot nine. How big is this thing can, in comparison it's to me? taller than you. Oh, Holy... About a four or five You're going to have to drop eight. a straw on that. Oh, no. I'm going to climb onto a chair and <laughs> shove my head in it. Swirly. <laughs> you know that, um... That's pretty good. You know that video of that raccoon that's drinking out of the yes. bowl? That's me. <laughs> I take the biggest swig I can and come up for air. Okay. <laughs> Give me a survival check. Survival? survival. <laughs> <laughs> or would that be a constitution check? Constitution. Survival. <laughs> 16. 16. I'm proficient in it. You're down there for 16 seconds. Dang. Hell yeah. Your luck was And you come out and your <laughs> life is wonderful. Yeah. Woo! Life so he's gonna be Janster is shamashed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also dead inside, so. so... Yeah! Okay. You guys gonna be here for a while? I figured we'd take it with us, but. I mean, you can. You did, right? <laughs> you just gotta see if you can uh, get somebody to pull it. Maybe find somebody with a with a. What is it called? A rickshaw or something? Or yeah, a you're, you're uh, yeah, the 
the old, elder dragonborn probably will. This you can have him carry. You it. want an old man carrying a heavy face? Are you yeah. saying I'll this out loud? It. I'll carry it myself. I, I'm slurring it out loud, but yeah, it's like I just slam my fist down on the table. I'll carry it myself. <laughs> one for the road. Get to walk me down. <laughs> one, 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 one. Hell no. <laughs> you just spill the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> it just goes down the drainage and just. Like, Everyone in the tavern cries. 4-1 out for scurvy, bro. Everyone else is like, <laughs> <laughs> Urchin. Oh, Urchin. Oh, you see Urchin kids run up to the drains like... <laughs> <laughs> some, some random guy. Hey, 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 wait. That's all good for you, kids. Oh, we cut, man? Alright, okay, so you're... you're smash uh, cut to us. Like, drinking and driving? Smash cut, smash cut to you're me. Drinking a cart, crawling up the palace of the Queen's Guard. Uh, about this time... Are you guys leaving? Yeah. About this time, uh, the other half of the party, which essentially is a half now, with the following uh, pursuers, uh, reaches the plaza and sees a very, very Shamash Janster <laughs> and Shamash and another Dragonborn walking out of the tavern they're coming Walking out. is putting it lightly. Stumbling. <laughs> I have a feeling you're being drugged with, by his uh, tail. With an amphora in tow. Okay. So they see... These people coming out of the inn, and you guys meet up. Hey guys, you won't believe the shit I've seen. Who's ready for shots? You're drunk, aren't you? They don't know who I am. I'm disguised self. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're uh, pursuing. Well, you're still pursuing, but and you're then drunk as hell. Shots. Aren't you? I'm just uh, like, oh, I was trying to keep him like. Like, he's like, not even so making the eye contact. He's, 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 he's a rogue. All right, he's smashed. He's a rogue. Right. Oh. He sucks. He's just a sucky rogue. But, but he's uh. Rogue. Nonetheless. I think. I'm assuming this party we're is what we're talking rogues. about, right? Yes. Yeah. We've met up. I think the rogues. moment <laughs> I see the Oni, it's gone, and I'm back to being feared. You're sobered. Yeah, like that. So you, you feel a tension, but not necessarily the tightening that you felt before. Yeah, I just feel these emotions because I've never seen this thing before. And I've seen a lot of weird shit. Mm -hmm. I look shades different than him. Yeah, but... Tell, yeah, but... You have more of an aura about you, I would say, in terms of the way you look. Okay, this is certain. So then you start talking, it's or it's like, eyes. <laughs> but no, I think I kind of hide behind Babel because I'm legit scared of this being that's beside that's What's wrong, little guy? He breathes heavily. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't get my pol my knob polished by dudes. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but something in me doesn't like him. I, I interrupt their conversation entirely. It seems to be a different To announce that I would really like introductions, and I begin to introduce them to my dragonborn friend. Okay. So. His name, to your memory, is Balasar. Balasar. Well, Babel, Bam, and gentlemen I haven't oh. met yet. Okay. Introduce yourself to him. Oh. Hello, um, my name is Sheen and I do a proper bow. Um, um, these are your friends? Yes. Hi. Hi? Maybe uh, you need to have words, words in a view. Um, it is a present to meet you all. I, um, what, what is? Do you want to be, um, reacquainting yourselves from what I can tell? Um, please. He's been unconscious for a couple of days. <laughs> He disappeared in thin air. Yeah, I. Uh, That's not much yeah, to blink in and out of existence any chance uh, he gets. We're, we're coming into the picture, right? I, I just walk up. And up. more. It's here. up to you. You could still uh, trail I, him. Don't even look at me. You don't even know who the hell I am. You just you see Glenn and Aros with some weird dude. You, this is a crowded. You're you're doing this out in the street outside of an inn, by the way. There are still people walking around, so it's easy to kind of. You gotta remember, tuck I, away I am on like half guard, so I'm just wondering if yeah, I see him. I, like if I recognize who he is. He's got this guy. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good guy. But if you, thirteen. I come, I come in. I come into the picture. You. And yeah, you don't recognize this this person. That appears to be moving. I, I to take a step back one, You said you were moving in? Yeah. Kind of the off 
Do we want to walk forward? They, uh, and a bill collector. Oh, hell. I, 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 I motion to you. I motion to you. Do you, uh, do you, do you uh, shake your head? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I motion to him, like, let's move in. And then I come up and I kind of uh, partly draw the sword 